are we live? We are live. We're here. We're here. Don't don't send any ransom. Hi, everybody. Uh, Bruce here, traveling with Bruce. Welcome to uh, Tuesday night primetime uh, trivia live on uh, Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to the TWB family. Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, got a couple of good ones for you. I'm going to have some fun with you guys today. Uh, I, at least, you know, I hope so. Um, how you doing? Uh, had a good show today at five. I think we all had a good time. Uh, got lots covered. Just looking at my, uh, I'm just looking at my own commercial. I'm, I'm actually making money on YouTube. Look at that. I've got a commercial going here. I don't get Florida primary uh, ads like you guys in Florida get, though. Uh, that's got to be annoying. It's all get up. You just can't escape that stuff. These uh, so-called political uh, experts who, uh, you know, are trying to target your vote and uh, just won't leave you alone. They pester you everywhere you go, wherever you go on the internet. They know what you like. They know what you follow. They just they come after you. It's unbelievable. Just it's just terrible. You just got to watch. Uh, got to watch my channel. Uh, you know, try to get around it and uh, you know, watch Simpsons. Maybe uh, Family Guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, what can I say? It looks like 16 of you are here already. Fantastic! You're all filing in here. Welcome to Tuesday Night Prime Time Trivia. Thanks again for all your support. By the way, uh, Peter Heckham, a shout out to you. Uh, he made a donation to me today, and also. Uh, I had a I had a super chat this afternoon. I think I can remember who it was. Uh, oh, I forgot. I'll I'll thank her again tomorrow. But um, I did get a super chat today, and thank you for that uh, very very much. Um, let's see who's here. Say hi to everybody, and let's start playing trivia. What do you think about that? Uh, if you've never been here for trivia before, all we do is uh, I come up with some questions I've got here, and uh, it's it's usually ten or twenty correct answers. And uh, you get to make one guess for every text you send me. And if you got like five answers in your mind, you can just do five separate texts. And uh, I'll start uh, knocking off the correct answers. And when we get to the very end, if you need help, I'll give you guys hints. But hopefully you'll be able to get them yourself. We got a little bit of everything today. Uh, got a little bit of food trivia. Got a little bit of geography. Got a little bit of Hollywood. Uh, got flowers. Yeah, I, I, I have flower trivia. I mean... We're covering bases all over the place. Uh, I love it. Let's see who's here. Blaine. Uh, Blaine is here, 2007. Hi, all. Looking forward to some trivia. Welcome, Blaine. Kat's here. Hi, Kat. Brittany Lockwood's here. Hi, Bruce and all. Ready for some trivia. Hi, you guys doing? Welcome to the show. By the way, thanks to all of you guys who've been picking up this stuff lately. Traveling with Bruce uh, merchandise on Redbubble. Thank you for, for picking up these items. Helps us so much. Uh, also, some of you have been letting me, letting me know... Hey, Bruce, I've been going to your uh, your Amazon uh, link down below here. I've been picking up some stuff. Keep an eye open. I'll, I'm excited. I, I love that. There's always a little commission coming to us whenever you buy something through our affiliate link. Thank you. And then, of course, those of you who make direct donations to this channel, oh, man, thank you so much. Jennifer and I cannot thank you enough, and uh, uh, we appreciate all the help we can get to keep us on the air. Okay, other than Blaine, Kat, Brittany, um, Brittany was saying just now it's 75 and cloudy may or may not have been raining during your other show. I, I just don't know. It doesn't matter. Brittany, it's, it's all good. doesn't matter. Uh, Robert Brandt is here. Uh, did anyone see the news with the now official death count in Puerto Rico from the hurricanes last September? I, I have. I've been following that story uh, ever since last year, and it is terrible. Uh, it is a uh, it is a real shame that, uh, that uh, certain entities out there do not do their jobs, will not own up to uh, what really are the facts of life. And that how terrible that storm really was. Uh, those two hurricanes back to back really devastated uh, many islands, including Puerto Rico, Saint Croix, uh, Saint Thomas got hit, uh, San Martin got hit big time too. Um, um, Dominica got hit. I'm just trying to remember some of these islands. Saint Bart's got hit. Uh, there were there were some real uh, terrible casualties. A lot of infrastructure got destroyed. Has a lot has been rebuilt, but a lot needs to be still rebuilt including private homes and a lot of businesses and i know robert uh, you are uh, you you know firsthand how much rebuilding has been done and how much is still needed to be done it is something else uh Brittany, uh is saying my knee has stopped bothering me as of now i think i may look into getting the hardware screws and wires out of my knee within the next year i've had to have surgery on my knee because of the severity isn't that that's incredible Nate, what you're uh Get doctor's advice and, and take care of it. Uh, D, D. Walker is here. Hi, all. Hey, D. Uh, uh, D. I forgot your first name. Is is it is it Dixie? Is it? Uh, I, I forgot. I, I apologize. You got to help me. Uh, remind me, would you please? And Jordan, morning, Bruce, and all trivia is a go. And Jordan saying good morning because she's in Brisbane, Australia, watching from way down under. Fantastic. Welcome back. And I know it's better time for you now. Uh, 
a little more a uh, little more in the morning for you than really early in the morning robert brandt that guy uh when he decided to visit had the count at 16 people uh, which they raced to 64 people uh dying and he commented that they were so lucky and it was far less serious than katrina yeah he uh he missed the count on that and, and all the officials and of course they've been ignoring the real number ever since it's just terrible yeah, very. That's a slap in the face, isn't it? Katrina's death count in New Orleans, eighteen hundred thirty-three. Uh, unbelievable. Um, so much more in uh, in uh, San Juan in in, in uh, Puerto Rico. Excuse me, San Juan and, and Puerto Rico in general. Uh, let me think here. Uh, where am I? Cat Rose, Brittany. If you can get yours removed, that's a good thing. I will have the rod and screws in my lower right leg for life. She said. Oh man, Cat, uh, you got to stop kicking guys when they're not looking. I mean, you just you just busting yourself up, you know. You, Hang in there, everybody. Robert Brandt, Maria, and uh, Irma's death count officially now 2975 in Puerto Rico. Maybe they needed more than paper towels. You stuffed, <laughs> you stuffed bag of air. Well, yeah, uh, we need a little more than paper towels to fix that, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Crazy Rich Guy. Uh, uh oh. Blaine, the twins have arrived. Hello to all. Crazy Rich Guys. Hi. Uh, and Jordan, hey, twins. How are you doing today? Brittany Lockwood, that. that that is a crazy number of deaths, but I'm not surprised by the number because of all the damage Puerto Rico received, and it was terrible. Crazy Rich guys are saying, uh, "Eat pizza," uh, and going to try this trivia thing. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try this trivia thing. We're traveling with Bruce. Our dad's always into it all the time. We're gonna see what this is all about. See if it's any good. And uh, well, I welcome you to the show, you guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing if you can uh, compete with us uh, elders. <laughs> God, these two guys are 16 years old. I mean, they're we got two twins here, 16-year-old twins. Uh, I don't know how sharp they're going to be. Uh, I'm looking at these uh, answers here. Well, yeah, they might they might be all right. Well, we'll find out. This is going to be fun. Um, Robert Brandt, the USA sent very little uh, f funds or aid to help uh, uh, the situation. It wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it's a big debate. It's a big, a big political football now, of course. It will be forever. The debates will go on. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes... Uh, some, some, it just seems to me from way up here in Canada, remember, I'm way up here. Some Americans feel more American than others. And there are some people out there who feel that some Ameri some people deserve to be more American than other Americans need to be American. And I, I just think that's wrong. I just, the way I understand America, it's a one big inclusive family. Uh, but right now the family's got a little problem and, uh, we're watching from way up here and going, Oh man, Oh man, I hope you guys sort this out. Because uh, we love America. We really do up here. We Canadians, we love America. <laughs> we can't get enough of you guys. Can't get enough of your food. Can't get enough of your culture. And we love heading down there for a vacay. We love America. I know you guys love coming up here because Americans come to Canada and go, wow, this is ever great. What a beautiful place you got here. Uh, it is kind of pretty. Uh, and uh, we enjoy seeing some of the pretty places America has to offer as well. Cat Rose saying good luck. Robert Brandt, billions and billions for Katrina. Robert Brandt, 70 million for Maria and Irma. Brittany Lockwood, I just do not want any storms to hit anywhere close to Louisiana this year. One of my two uh, fall breaks was canceled because the university closed for a hurricane last year. So we, we don't want to do that. And Jordan, hey, yeah, uh, Kat, Lane, Brittany, Robert. Cra uh, uh, crazy rich guys uh, just dropped the topic. Uh, no one outside the islands ever cared. <laughs> uh, the kids. Oh, the kids. What do you get to the kids? Uh, Blaine, uh, hi, Ann. Hope all's well in Aussie land. Brittany, uh, and that was before my Thanksgiving break in November, which was my last break before the fall of 17 so stranded. Trouble in college land. I wish I had these problems. I really do. I, I wish I had college problems. Don't don't you guys out there, those of you in your 50s and 60s, don't you wish you're in college again? Uh, I, I don't care about these student loan nonsense things going on. I don't, I don't care. I wish I were young enough today that I had to worry about going to college. Um, man, I, I I'd be uh, I'd be raring to go, raring to go, and then get me in a lookout. I'm lookout world. Here I come. I'm ready. Oh man, I'd be ready. Anyway, what are you gonna do? Uh, let's see. Um, crazy rich guys. Are the trivia topics random? Oh, they're totally random. You have no idea what's coming. I come from left field, right field, center field. You have no idea what's. You have no idea what you're gonna get tonight. Blaine, doing well. Thanks, Blaine. Yes, they are. And Jordan, uh, just doing updates on my iPad. Blaine, it's taking forever. Blaine, could be about food or something random from other countries. Uh, crazy rich guys. Anything goes. Uh, Anything goes type trivia? Anything goes type trivia? Well, I'm all over the map. You'll find out in a minute. Yeah, don't, worry, don't worry. Robert Brandt, yes, anything. Uh, Blaine, uh, Bruce comes up with a few topics, and they could also include Hollywood or movie topics. You just never know. Robert Brandt, 
uh, expect uh, polished turd colored things. That's what you should be expecting. <laughs> And Jordan, awesome trivia. Reggie and her man wonder what Bruce has for us today. How many issues has Horizon? How many issues has Horizon had so far? I mean, the, the, the Carnival Horizon has had quite a number of issues, haven't they? Including bumping into Pier 90 this morning. Unbelievable. Ah, what can I say? Uh, Robert Rent, a few issues. And Jordan, hey, yeah, Reggie and her man, how are you doing? Donna McKinnon is here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Donna. Reggie and her man, Robert Brent. I meant what trivia topics. Uh, Robert Brandt, oh, Reggie Man was out shopping the end of summer sales, right on. Blaine 07, good question, Reggie Man, but I hope no issues November 3 because I will be on the horizon itself. Hopefully everything will be cleared up and fine and no problems. Cross our fingers. Uh, we know one thing, it's built pretty tough. Uh, it can it can destroy a pier in New York like, like nada. <laughs> It's pretty tough boat. Uh, and Jordan, hey, Donna. Uh, Reggie and her man, but uh, but came back with pretty much uh, things for my man shopping for next year's cruises. <laughs> That's what she ended up getting. It's all good. D. Walker, hi, Ann. Uh, Reggie and her man, two of my girlfriends uh, were sailing out on the horizon today. I haven't heard from them. I, I don't think you will. I think they're having a wonderful time right now. Robert Brent, it apparently sailed. It did. Cat Rose for PR. All goods have to be sent from mainland U.S. port. From a mainland for Peter for Puerto Rico, all goods have to be sent from a mainland U.S. port. That's correct for everything to get to Puerto Rico. Brittany Lockwood, I hardly ever know when updates come out on my uh, devices, as I have an auto update function set up on all of mine. Robert Brandt, so must have been okay. Um, yeah, leaving. I think that ship leaving today, uh, New York, the Horizon. I think everything is good. Um, well, uh, and and Jordan's hoping everything's okay too. Robert Brandt, Cat Rose, we know we are on a much smaller island with the same issues. Uh, biggest hotel here is now saying they will not open until 2020. Reggie and your man, and Jordan, I do too. Uh, Donna McKinnon, hi, Ann. And Jordan, uh, yes, Brittany, all my devices are old, lucky. They still work. Crazy rich guys, uh, Robert Brandt, don't bug them with island problems. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, Anne is saying to Reggie, hopefully you'll hear news from them pretty soon. Uh, thanks, Anne. He says, Paul Wilgus, hey, all. Hey, Paul, uh, Tom Henry. Hi, everybody. You have been busy tonight. Hey, Tom. Yes, I've been going all day today. Robert France laughing out loud. Tom Henry, very suspicious. How, Pop, uh, all that I showed up together. How how that happened? I don't know. And Jordan, hey, yeah, Paul. Hey, Tom. Uh, hey, crazy rich guys. Why, why, why? Why time does the, what time does this start soon? Real soon. I'm just gonna say hi to everybody and we'll get right into trivia. Let people register in here. Blaine now. Paul Lucas. Hi, Ann. <laughs> Reggie, your man. Robert Brandt. How are things when you get back home? Hope I'm. Hope everything's okay. Tom Henry. That was Paul Rotten. D. Walker. Hi, Bruce. Paul Wilgus. Laughing out loud. But Robert Brandt. Reggie, your man. Our house was never damaged in the hurricanes, other than the landscaping and very minor things. So it, it was all it was all good to go. That's great news. All good. Tom Henry, I've never seen an ad on TWB. Uh, well, Tom, maybe you're in the wrong demographic. Maybe you're the kind of demographic nobody wants to talk to. Th that could be a good thing. You know, you could be left alone. That's not bad. Brittany Lockwood, I didn't see ads. I, I have YouTube premium. There you go. Reggie and her man, Robert Brent. Great to hear. Tom Henry and... <laughs> Welcome to Trivia, Paul Wilkes, the same to the crazy, crazy rich guys. Blaine, don't forget, thumbs up. Cat Rose Bunny. And Jordan, thumbs up. Jim Thomas, funny. Uh, Tom, in a four-minute one RT now. I don't know what, what Jim Thomas is saying. Hi, Jim. I'm uh, glad you're here. Um, in, in a four-minute one RT. I have no idea he's doing, talking about. Crazy rich guys. Thanks, Paul. Uh, Brittany, uh, you might be getting a super chat from me tonight. Oh, get, get out. Really? Have you, have you run into some cash? Crazy rich guy travels. Uh, there are two of us, uh, so they're teaming up. The two are ready to double up on me. And go after the answer. So yeah, you guys can commiserate with each other. See what you think. Debbie Manuel is here. Hi everybody. Hi Debbie. How you doing? Welcome back from Chico. AC Super Sport. What is the difference between the Seaside class and the Seaside Evo class? Uh, not a hundred and ten percent sure, but I'll look into it and I'll put it on a video. Uh, I'll look into that. I uh, think it's just newer version of the ship, perhaps. Um, on the other hand, it might be that one is uh, regular fuel, the other one's LNG for environmental. Uh, but I'll look into it. MG Toe, I went to uh, uh, Sharon MG, MG Toe saying, I went to Sharon's channel last night. It was full of shills, he says. It was full of shills. All they did was push drinking packages and booze. Your life is not complete unless you're constantly drinking. Scam alert. Well, I don't know. MG, is that really what, is that what really that channel is all about? I don't think so. I, I think uh, Sharon's channel is pretty genuine. Uh, great folks over there. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe you got the wrong impression of what's going on. I don't know. I, I didn't watch the show last night. I was kind of busy doing my thing. So 
And Jordan, hey, uh, Jim, awesome. Tokyo Debbie's here too. Paul Wilgus, crazy rich guy travels. So two brains. Hmm, yeah, that's right. They should be twice as good as all of us because there's two of them together. No excuses, you guys. You should be right on it. <coughs> Debbie, Debbie Manuel saying hi. <coughs> Robert Brand, MG Toe, let's be nice and not attack drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Paul likes that one. Blaine, MG Toe, that's not every show. They have a good channel as well. Oh, okay. Uh, MG Toe, I'm, I'm not Robert. Just out of control drinking that bugs me. Robert Brent, I agree with that, uh, MG. Uh, Robert, uh, use that U.S. Virgin Island, Puerto Rico are U.S. possessions at Traveling with Bruce. Uh, yeah, they are. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's 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 mm, it's kind of quirky, isn't it? Uh, don't know what to say. Don't lose subscribers. That's all I want to tell you. And Jordan, hey, MG Toe. D. Walker, Dixie. Ah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dixie. I, I, I thought it was, but I wasn't 99.9% .9 sure so I was going to be careful. Dixie Walker. Hi, Dixie. Welcome back to the show here. Crazy rich guys. Yeah, you 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 guys own us. <laughs> They're, they're they're afraid. Oh, they're afraid. MG Toe, in, in the United States, if you have a good health insurance, you'll find out you're one of the sickest people in the world if you go to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because it pays to be sick for the doctor. The doctor loves it when you're sick or thinks you might be sick or, gee, you don't look so well. Uh, how have you been feeling lately? Uh, how old are you? 62. You feel old? Uh, 62. Uh, yeah, we should run some tests. Uh, yeah, I hate that. I, I, uh, I go only when absolutely necessary, but then I'm a guy. You know, that's how guys are. But I've been fairly lucky with my health. Uh, well, what can I say? But then again, in Canada, it were covered. <laughs> That's different. Anyway, Paul Wilgus, uh, crazy rich guys, um, crazy rich travel, uh, laugh a lot until you need something. <laughs> uh, crazy rich travels. We are with the crazy rich guys, so we're okay. There you go, Jim Thomas. Remember, guys, only one answer at a time. I know you use. I know you're used to doubles. That's right. One answer per 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 text. Uh, hi, hi Sylvia. Hi all. Uh, welcome, Sylvia from Greensboro. Crazy rich guys travel. We were told not to say Trump. Republican, orange, or jackass, no matter what the question is, at Traveling with Bruce. See, they're doing exactly what they're told. They're not saying any of those things. <laughs> they only cost me about 20 subscribers just right now. I just, poof, I just lost 20 of them just like that. Thanks, you guys. Cat Rose, uh, in pa Puerto Rico, a lot of the plants that make the bags for IVs had major damage. The plants, the, the, the factories that make the bags for IVs had major damage. Isn't that something? Um, wonder uh, how quickly they're being re rebuilt. Hopefully they are and the jobs will come back. Uh, man, that's amazing. Reggie and your man at Sylvia Swan, how you doing? And Jordan, uh, Crazy Rich Guys, have you seen the movie Crazy Rich Asians? It's a great movie. Uh, Paul Wilkes is saying, hey, Crazy Rich Guys, uh, you guys are certainly your dad's son. There, there's no, no doubt in his mind about that. Um, uh, uh, Sylvia Swan is loving it. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys, yeah, she's loving it. Loving you guys. David Guido, uh, hi from Victoria. David, how you doing, buddy? From Victoria, BC. Welcome back to the trivia show. We're just about getting ready to start here. I think I'm just about caught up with all these comments. Crazy Rich Guys travels. We, 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 we not have an open movie here. We don't have an open movie theater uh, yet. We don't have an open movie theater in the island. So they can't go see a late run movie. Isn't that something? Yeah, we don't we don't think about that in our town. But yeah, on the island, they haven't got one. Wow. Uh, Blaine, Bakersfield or Tokyo is usually a good answer if you're stumped on uh, or the Vatican. Just so you know, uh, you guys, uh, uh, crazy rich guys, in case you don't know, you don't know the answer and you think, well, you know, maybe it's one of these. It's either Bakersfield or it could be Tokyo or it could be the answer could be the Vatican. A lot of people just try that out of desperation when they're stumped. So, you know, you might want to go that way. But then again, you. You might be wrong. Uh, uh, they're going, huh? Blaine, Bruce will explain in a second. Uh, crazy rich guys. Okay. Robert Brandt, I can't I can't wait for them to go. <laughs> One more year. Jim Thomas, uh, only college, and I got, only college, and I got was the school of hard knocks, laugh out loud, follow the best schooling you'll ever get. Uh, yeah, well, you know, J Jim, uh, I hear you there. I uh, you know, I became a watchmaker. Uh, some, you know, I use all those skills right now in what I'm doing here. Time management? No. Highly skilled uh, precision workmanship? No. Uh, patience? A little. Yeah, I mean, I'm being a bit patient, I suppose. <laughs> Pretty luck with college is so much fun. I'm not looking forward to graduating. I hear you. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Jim Thomas, Bruce might come from uh, every base, um, Bruce might come from every base, but sometimes he pitches from behind home base. Was the question. <laughs> I, I'll throw a pitch from the dugout just to kind of confuse you guys. I, I know. Crazy rich guy travels. I'm sure we will have fun in college. Oh, you will have fun in college. Uh, they, they go on to say, we can decode this crap, uh, the, his crap typing if it's a question. <laughs> we can decode his crap typing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Brittany Lockwood, everything seems to go smooth when the Carnival Horizon left earlier. I watched some of it earlier today. That's good news. The ship, I think, is well underway. All is good there. Wendy Thompson, hi, everybody. We just have to watch it park tomorrow. Can it Can it park okay tomorrow? Uh, you got to wonder today, you know, when the Horizon was having problem in New York at Pier 90, what, was it having problems with its uh, one of its um, uh, the bow thrusters or one of the uh, azipods? Was one of the azipods acting up and, and not reacting properly? Or, you know, maybe maybe an engine issue. Remember, they had that engine problem a few weeks ago. No one said anything. Uh, ship left fine. Don't know. Or they just guessed wrong. Uh, yeah, they guessed wrong. Um, everyone's saying hi to everybody. Uh, Tom Henry, Reggie, you run the trivia prize. Me too. Uh, nurse Nancy, hi there. The twins are here. I see. Yes, nurse. They, uh, nurse Nancy, they are. They Here they are. They're saying so. Uh, I got a new, uh, Sylvie's saying, I got a new laptop. And can't figure out the D password to sign on. Uh, we'll have to use my phone as usual. <laughs> can't figure out the dang password. Uh, technology, the new technology. And Jordan, hey, uh, Nurse Nancy. Nurse Nancy, hi, guys. Are you serving? Laugh out loud. Um, uh, Nurse Nancy, are the, are the guys serving drinks? I don't know. Desi, hello, all. I made a trivia. Desi Wagner, welcome from Chicago. How many got? 32. We're almost ready to go here. Nurse Nancy, oops, I withdraw my drinking comment. Pew. Don't condone over drinking, but I do say you should have a nice time on vacation. There you go. <laughs> She's saying that one out loud to MG. Brittany Lockwood, I plan to stick to my favorite beverage on a cruise, a real Coke on Disney Cruise Line. I have to admit to one thing. I also like Coke. Uh, is that Coke Light? Or, you know, it's not Coke Life. Coke Light. Anyway, I, I, I like my brown fuzzy water. Uh, diet, caffeine-free. Diet. Caffeine free Coca Cola. Uh, caffeine, caffeine free Diet Coke. Cheers to one and all. Mm. Love that stuff. Keeps me hydrated. All right. Uh, where am I here? Uh, Paul saying hi, Desi. Reggie and your man. Thanks for that sail away update. And Jordan, hi, Desi. Great to see you, Desi. Hi, and Paul. But Brittany, anytime, especially what happens earlier today. <laughs> Uh, everyone's saying hi to everybody, MG Toe, um, and then all, Nurse Nancy, all these shills that tell you to keep buying booze on a ship bothers me, and I don't like to be harassed by these these guys constantly trying to push booze on you. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, Sylvia, hey, Reggie, uh, David Guido, great. Uh, David Guido, smoke's all gone from the fires. Oh, good news, Dave. That's great. You're out in Victoria. That's good stuff here. The, the smoke's gone, too. I can actually see mountains over there three miles away. I can see them. I don't know how long it's going to last, though. We're going to be sunny the next four days. I don't know if the smoke's coming, smoke will come back. I just hope we get some more rain for British Columbia and California, too. Um, Debbie Manuel, hey, now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Brittany, one answer I tend to give is Titanic for movie trivia. Nurse Nancy, hi there, Reggie. Jim Thomas, Tokyo is the answer for only one. Uh, the only, for only, uh, the, Toki is an answer for only heard by Bruce by Debbie Manuel. That's right. Uh, Debbie almost always gets Tokyo right. She has an uncanny knack for knowing when a question requires an answer like Tokyo. It's incredible. Debbie is just unbelievable. Desi's saying, hey, uh, Cool Jazz, Tom Henry was at the controls. That's all it was. He couldn't see over the horizon. Welcome, Cool Jazz from New York. Uh, <laughs> Nurse Nancy saying hi, Desi. Uh, Rich, guys, we guess all of the above. All right, uh, here we go. Jim Thomas, uh, rain and figures not working well together today. Sorry for typos. Uh, it's all right, uh, Jim. Uh, Nurse Nancy, crazy rich guys, those usually are the right answer. Choose all of the above unless it's absolutely wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brady doesn't know the password on her computer. Uh, she has login options on her computer. Uh, computer. She's a pro. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, Reggie, a TWB ad since we never see any grin. Uh, okay, we're caught up. Let's play some trivia. Okay, I got 28 of you guys here. I don't want to lose any more of you folks. Uh, I don't want you to be impatient with me. Uh, let's start off, uh, let's have some fun here. Uh, let's start off with a uh, trivia question. Uh, this is, e this is easy. This is easy. Anybody can answer these questions. This is easy. There's 20 correct answers here. I'm looking for the names of countries and I want you to tell me, tell me the names of the countries that grow the most lemons and limes. What are the big lemon and lime growing countries of the world? One answer per guess. Here we go. Nurse Nancy, right off the bat, Tokyo, wrong. <laughs> what countries make the most, grow the most lemons and limes? Here we go. Nurse Nancy's loving this. Reggie and her man, Tom Henry, saying, laughing out loud. Brittany Lockwood, the Vatican. How about that? Do they grow lemons and limes? Sorry. No, no, no royal. No holy lemons, no holy limes here. We no can do. Can't help you there. Debbie Manuel's coming right in with the United States of America. Uh, number six. They're the sixth largest in the world for growing lemons and limes. Nurse Nancy, Mexico, number one country. 
yeah, the Mexicans grow the most lemons and limes. Uh, cool Jazz is thinking Horizon. Uh, Debbie had Mexico too. D uh, Dixie is coming with the USA. Uh, Brittany, USA. We already have it. Paul, Mexico. Uh, Blaine, 2007, thinking Spain. Oh, by the way, uh, you two young guys, uh, no Google in the answers. There's no cheating, no looking up online. It, it's just pure. Do you know it or don't you? No cheating. No. Uh, Spain is, I guess, number seven in the country is Spain. Well done, Blaine. Uh, Sylvia is looking at Germany uh, as I get. No, Germany is a little too far north to be growing citrus fruits. Uh, kind of like, you know, Ontario and Canada and uh, Maine. You know, Maine isn't known for lemons and limes. You know, it's a little too warm, a little too cold up there. Uh, Wendy Thompson, Belize. Now, that, there's a pretty easy one. Yes, Belize, uh, sort of a Central American kind of country, but they don't make the cut. They don't, they're not in the top 20, so they're not there. Panama, Tom Henry is thinking uh, uh, th maybe Panama, the country, uh, would they be in it? Nope, they're not in there either, but they got the right geography, I would think. Desi Wagner, USA. Crazy Rich Guys, US. Yeah, well, we've got that already. Keep guessing. Brittany Lockwood, Mexico. Uh, Blaine, how about Turkey? How about the country of Turkey? Yeah, number 10 country in the world. Lemons and limes, Turkey. Uh, US Virgin Islands, that's not a country, and sorry. Reggie Nerman, Italy. Yeah, number nine country. Lemons and limes, Italy. Desi had Mexico. Debbie had Iran. Iran is number four. Yes, Mexico number one, Iran number four, USA six, Spain seven, Italy nine, Turkey number 10. I got, I need 20 of these. I still need like 13, 14 more guesses, 14 more answers. What do we got coming in here on uh, the Netherlands from Blaine? I, I don't think so. Netherlands a little too far north. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Brazil. Now that, I think there's potential. Number five country, Brazil. It's warm there. Uh, Poland. Uh, now, Poland is known for some bitterly cold winters. Um, you ever seen movies from the Second World War when the you know the Germans go into Russia and then the Russians come back at Ger they're going through Poland both times. It's awful. No lemons, no limes. Sorry, uh, mind you, it was black and white TV and it's hard to see. But yeah, I cut you a break there. Uh, Ireland, uh, no, Desi, too far north. Uh, Honduras. How about Honduras? That's a country in sort of Central America, isn't it? Uh, but it's not in the top twenty. Desi Wagner is thinking about France. Um, Maybe the Mediterranean part of France, but uh, no, not on the top 20. Sorry, no can do. Canada, no, no, Brittany, no can do, not Canada. Turkey, we've got. Brittany, we uh, had Spain already. Donna is thinking about Greece, the country of Greece. Uh, yeah, number 17 in the world for growing lemons and limes. It's Greece, right on. Uh, Reggie and your man, Portugal, right beside España, beside Spain is Portugal, but it's not in the top 20. No, no can do. Blaine, China. What about China? Number eight country for lemons and limes is China. They have some southern, uh, nicer, warmer climates. Brazil, we have. Uh, Desi, Brittany Lockwood, France, we've tried. Blaine, Italy, we've done it. Uh, Desi Wagner, Ecuador. There's a good guess, I would think. Uh, but you know what? Ecuador doesn't count, doesn't make the top 20. How about that? Uh, Limon, Lyman, uh, that's not happening. Uh, Reggie and your man, Bermuda, that's uh, territory of the UK. And Jordan, Jamaica. Uh, well, there's a country that right in the heart of the Caribbean. But nope, Jamaica, so much unrest. Uh, no no growing of lemons and limes to make it work in the top 20 in the world. Tom Henry, Costa Rica. That is another country right in the heart of Central America. They're not in the top 20 for lemons and limes. Robert Brandt, uh, they are in my drink. If if they could talk, if they could talk. Reggie and your man, Jamaica, uh, Blaine, Germany, uh, Tom Henry, Colombia. Colombia, Germany, no. Colombia, yes, number 16. Colombia made the cut. Uh, Portugal, we tried. Cuba, Brittany Lockwood is thinking Cuba. Uh, nope, uh, Cuba, it's not in the top 20 for lemon and lime production. Uh, Jamaica, no. India, Jim Thomas is thinking about India. Number two country, India. Yeah, right there. Tom Henry, Singapore? Uh, no, Singapore is a city. It's a country that's made of a city, made up of, of a city. I haven't got any farmland in there. Brittany Lockwood, Jamaica, no. Uh, Sylvia Swan, uh, Brazil, we've done it. A crazy rich guy travels. The Philippines, there's a good guess. The Philippines, are they Are they in the list? No. Uh, but boy, I think they'd have the right kind of weather perhaps, but nope, they didn't They didn't make it. They might be too warm. Uh, Desi Wagner, Portugal, no. Nurse Nancy, Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia. Malaysia, no, not Malaysia either. No, uh, Bermuda, that's a territory of the UK. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, Greece, we've tried. Reggie and your man, Morocco. Uh, Morocco, no, I'm looking hard. Tom Henry, Australia. What about Australia for lemon and limes? 
nope, not Australia. I guess not Morocco, Australia. Iraq, no. Um, Singapore, no. Ghana, another uh, African country is a good guess there. But nope, not Ghana. Um, not there, no. Uh, any more guesses? Some, uh, South Korea. South Korea, uh, no. A little too far north, I think, for South Korea. We, they have snow. Argentina, Blaine, is coming in. Number three country is Argentina. You guys have the top 10 now nailed down. You've got Mexico, India, Argentina, Iran, Brazil, USA, Spain, China, Italy, Turkey. We still need 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, and 20. Uh, think in those middle latitudes. Uh, where are, What countries are in the middle there? Nigeria from Sylvia Swan is wondering about Nigeria. Nope, it's not working. Indonesia is another guess. No, not Indonesia either. Taiwan, another good guess. No, Ecuador, uh, Ecuador is uh, not on the list. No, um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Costa Rica from Robert Brandt, uh, right in the heart of no, middle, middle of uh, Central America, not there. Thailand, Desi, Desi Wagner. Yeah, number 20. They just made the cut. Thailand was right there. Uh, Reggie Man, Guatemala, Guat number 15. Yep, just below Mexico. You got it. Uh, what else? Uh, Philippines, we've had already. Egypt, uh, Jim Thomas is thinking Egypt, number 11. Egypt, growing lemon and limes. Uh, Chile, Barb, Barb is here. Hi, Barb, how you doing? Uh, Chile, you got it, number 14 on the list. Chile, uh, even though I just pronounced it, spelled it chiller, I'll give you a Chile. Uh, crazy rich guys, uh, Colombia. Colombia, uh, already been guessed. It's the 16th largest, already been done. Uh, Chile, we just got Nurse Nancy. Nigeria, we've tried. Barb Chiller again, uh, Brittany Lockwood, Argentina. Uh, we um, uh, have already done Argentina. It was third. Japan, no. Peru, Peru, number 13. Yeah, that is Brittany Lockwood. Well, way to go, Brittany. Uh, Desi Wagner, Costa Rica, we've tried it. Uh, Panama, we've tried it. Uh, New Zealand, Brittany Lockwood, New Zealand, too far south, uh, too too cool. Uh, let's see here. Crazy Rich Guys, they grow uh, They grow other green stuff in Jamaica. They They do. Uh, and it's not lemons and limes, but it, it's it is it, there is other green stuff growing in Jamaica. That's true. Cat a Cern Cern Cernam no, um, uh, Nicaragua from a, P, a prob P R B L O O M G prob pro, pro bloom, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Mr P is here. Hi Mr P. Uh, Nicaragua is the guess. Uh, no, Nicaragua is not in the top twenty for lemon or lime production. Uh, Valen Martinez, hi, I'm finally back. Valen, welcome back. Uh, Valen, if you'd have been here five minutes ago, you could have just said your home country of Argentina. You would have had the third largest lemon and lime grower in the in the world, but you're too late. Someone guessed it already, but welcome anyway to the show. I'm glad you're here. Uh, laughing out loud, crazy rich guy. Sylvia's laughing out loud. Desi Wagner, hi, Valen. Cat, Thailand, uh, nope. I'm looking for three countries, one in Africa, one in the Middle East, and uh, two in the Middle East, two in the Middle East and one in Africa. That's all I need. Uh, let's see here. Crazy Rich Guys uh, travels. Yeah, yeah, that they do. Blaine, South Africa, bingo. That's the, that's the African country right there. 12th largest lemon and lime grower. I'm looking for numbers 18 and 19, both Middle East countries, lemon and lime growers. India, no. Vietnam, no. Reggie Newman, Cambodia, no. Rich, crazy Rich Guys. This is hard. That's why you go to college, you see. You, you, we're prepping you for college because it's hard. But I have some interesting trivia questions coming up. You might have some more fun with some of these other ones. Just hang in there. Larry Blake, Iran, no. Um, Ola Valen, as for Singapore, no. Egypt, no. Peru, no. Uh, Thailand, no. Uh, crazy rich guys laughing out loud. Blaine, Peru, no. David, Chile, no. Blaine, Sylvia, Siren, Syria, Syria, Blaine, Syria. Yes, Syria. Number 18 is Syria. War-torn Syria, 18th largest lemon and lime grower in the world. Uh, one country left, Middle East country. Very nearby Lebanon. Uh, oh, I just said it. There you go. <laughs> I just gave it away. It's Lebanon. <laughs> Did anyone have it? Um, yeah, Blaine got it. Way to go, Blaine. <laughs> you get credit for it. I just gave it away. Everybody's guessing. Everybody, all these other countries. Well done, you guys. It's Lebanon. And uh, that's the list. It's Mexico, India, Argentina, Iran, Brazil, USA, Spain, China, Italy, Turkey, Egypt, South Africa, Peru, Chile. Guatemala, Colombia, Greece, Syria, Lebanon, Thailand. Look at a map of the globe and draw a band around the equator. And you'll kind of notice where the lemons and limes come from. You'll figure it out. That's how it works. Ah, so much fun. I hope some of you guys like baseball. If you like baseball, you're going to like this quiz. Uh, this is a baseball quiz. 
Uh, let's see how guys you guys do on this one. Um, I need to know. I want to know teams that have won the World Series, but there's a catch. I only want you to tell me teams that have won the World Series more than one time. What teams have won the World Series at least twice or more? Multiple World Series championship teams. Who are we talking about? Just tell me the team names. World Series baseball, baseball winners, multiple winners. Here we go. Nurse Nancy, the Minnesota. Minnesota Twins, three times they won. They went to the uh, World Series six times. They only won three times. Uh, Wendy Thompson, the Cardinals, the St. Louis Cardinals, yes. They've won 11 times. They've gone 19. They've won 11 and lost eight. Uh, David Guido, uh, the Blue Jays out of Toronto. That's right. They've gone twice. They've won twice. They are 2-0 and in Toronto. How about that? Uh, cool Jazz, the New York Yankees. About the Yankees. I mean, you know, they're the team. Yeah. 27 times they've won it all. They've been there 40 times. They're 27 and 13. They have a pretty good winning percentage when they get to the World Series. Uh, and Debbie Emanuel is thinking the LA Dodgers or Dodgers. I I'm going to go with the Dodgers as a whole. It's all good. Six times they've won it, but they've been there 19 times. They've lost 13 and won six. The Dodgers. Why? The New York Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> That's why in the 50s when they used to meet each other all the time as the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, the Yankees are coming in like crazy here. Brittany Lockwood, just think about the Baltimore Orioles. Yes, the Orioles have won the uh, World Series. Um, hang on a second. Three times. They've gone seven. They've won three times. Debbie had the Yankees too. Cool Jazz, the Mets, the New York Mets. The New York Mets have won twice. They've gone five times. They're, uh, they're two wins, three losses. Philadelphia Phillies, Tom Henry, uh, they've gone twice. Sorry, they've gone seven times. They've won twice. They've lost five. But they've got two wins. Uh, who is next? Philadelphia Phillies. Red Sox. Cat is looking at the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox have won eight times. They've been 12. They've won eight times. The Brewers, a Nancy, a nurse Nancy is thinking about the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, I got bad news. Uh, they have not been multiple World Series winners. I'm sorry to say, Desi Wagner. How about the Chicago Cubs? Chicago Cubs. The Cubbies have won three times. They've been there 11. They've only won three times, but they have won three. Barb has the Yankees. Blaine has the Reds. The Reds are the uh, are the uh, the uh, Cincinnati Reds. They've won five times out of nine. They're just over 500. Five wins for the Cincinnati uh, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Red Sox, we've got. Yankees, we have. Braves, Tom Henry, the Atlanta Braves. The Braves have won a total of three times. They've been there nine times. They've lost six times, but they got three wins. Desi Wagner, California Angels. What about the California Anaheim Angels? No, they have not been multiple winners. The Dodgers, we have. White Sox, Brittany Lockwood, Chicago White Sox. They've got three wins out of five appearances, so they're batting 600 at the World Series. Devil Rays. Desi Wagner is wondering about the Devil Rays. Uh, the Devil Rays, I think, have won one time, but not twice. They don't get, make it on this list. The Giants. Jim Thomas, the Giants, yes. The Giants. The Giants win the pennant. The Giants win the pennant. The, okay, eight times they've won the World Series. They've been there 20 times, only won eight. They've lost 12. Why? The New York Yankees. That's why. <laughs> Debbie Manuel, Red Sox. We have it. Reggie Nerman, Mets. We got it. Uh, cool Jazz. The Marlins. Uh, yep, twice. Marlins have been twice. They've won twice. They've got a perfect record. Desi Wagner, Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks. Arizona Diamondbacks. I think they've won it one time. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates from Blaine. The Pittsburgh Pirates, five times they've won the World Series. They've been there seven times. they got a good winning percentage when they get there. Brooklyn Dodgers, we've kind of we put Brooklyn in with the Dodgers already. Desi Wagner, the Padres. Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, not the Padres. I don't know if they've ever won. I don't know if they've ever won. it. Uh, Blaine, Orioles, we've done it. Uh, Debbie Manuel, the Oakland A's. Yeah, the Oakland A's. Nine times they've won it. 14 times they've gone there. Uh, not a bad winning record. We've only got um, two, three, only got three teams left to go, and we got this thing done. Houston Astros. Brittany Lockwood is wondering about the Houston Astros. 
I think they got the one win, which is the last one. Uh, that's it. Uh, Debbie, uh, the Giants, we've done them. Uh, Blaine, the Indians, the Cleveland Indians, uh, they've won twice. They've been there six times, and they lost the last one to the Cubs. Uh, they've got two wins, though. Uh, Dodgers are bums. That's why. That's right, MG. Blaine, uh, the Marlins, no can do. Blaine, White Sox, no can do. Brittany Lockwood, Orioles is a favorite baseball team in my family. Larry Blake, Detroit Tigers. Yeah. Detroit Tigers have won four World Series, but they've been there 11 times. They've lost seven of them. There's one team left that's won twice. They've gone four times to win twice. What is it? It's not the Giants. It's not the Flying Squirrels. It's not the Blue Jays. It's not the Reds. Ball is laughing a lot. It's not the Bakersfield Tulis. No, it's not the Bakersfield boys. Tom Wilgus, uh, Tom Henry, That's as, it's good to see the Toledo mud, mud Hens laugh out loud. The team I'm looking for is from a state, uh, a state of Missouri. They're based in the state of Missouri. Uh, anybody know what baseball team is in Missouri? As he does a dramatic pause and takes a drink. <sighs> Seattle, no. Mets, no. Vancouver Canucks, wishful thinking, Dave. Wishful thinking. Uh, what team has gone to the World Series four times, won it twice? They're based in Missouri in the United States. Anybody know what city is in Missouri that's big enough to hold a baseball team? Kind of a royalty. They're sort of connected to royalty in a way, if you look at their name. There's a hint. I mean, royalty, you know. The Royals, Tom Henry, way to go. Yeah, it's the Kansas City Royals. Kansas City, Missouri, I believe, is a, is a city if I've, got, if I've got that right. The Royals have won twice. They've been there four times. That That is the list. The number one team is the Yankees. 27 World Series championships, followed by the St. Louis Cardinals at 11. Oakland A's have nine. Boston Red Sox and the Giants have eight collectively, San Fran and L.A. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Brooklyn. <clears throat> Damn it. Um, Dodgers have six because uh, New York Giants, excuse me, New York Giants and San Francisco Giants. I'm sorry. Dodgers, L.A. and Brooklyn have six. The Cincinnati Reds have five. Pittsburgh Pirates have five. Detroit Tigers have four. The Braves, the Orioles, the Cubs, the White Sox, the Twins all have three. The Indians, the Royals, the Marlins, the Mets, the Phillies, and Blue Jays all have two. And that is your answer to this particular question. How about that one? I got a couple more to go here. Uh, trivia. Let's see if we can have some fun here. Um, okay. This this is Hollywood. Uh, maybe maybe our friends, the the uh, the rich, uh, the two rich guys. Uh, what what's that channel name? The two you know. Uh, those guys, maybe those two young guys can do this one. They, maybe they can nail this one really easily. Uh, you never know. I got Hollywood here. Uh, everyone loves Hollywood. Uh, tell me. <clears throat> I want to know um, Diane Keaton. Every movie she ever made. Diane Keaton movies. Uh, what movies has she basically starred in? Diane Keaton movies. Starting in 1970 right up to uh, 2010. Diane uh, Keaton made a bunch of movies. Uh, tell me some of the names of the Diane Keaton movies. Fire away, you guys. Let's see what we got here. Brittany Lockwood right now. Titanic. She was the girl who did that, wasn't she? No, she wasn't the girl. That, was she the old one that threw the ring in the water? No, wasn't her either. Sorry. No, it wasn't that. Sorry, Brittany. And Jordan, the first Wives Club. The first Wives Club, 1996. That was a lot of fun. That was with Bette Midler and Goldie Hawn, I think. Am I right on that? That was a lot of fun, that movie. Uh, the Godfather, Blaine. Yeah, that was the second movie she was ever in. The Godfather, her second ever movie. Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to the movie business. Your second movie is The Godfather. Wow. Not bad. D. Walker, Dixie, as good as it gets. Love that movie, too. As good as it gets. That one was done in, uh, what year was that? Where am I here? As good as it gets. No, she wasn't in As Good As It Gets. I apologize. I'm thinking of another movie. Um, I always get this one confused with the actual, the other movie she made. I apologize. That was actually, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, oh, the girl who was in uh, Mad About You. Um, Linda, you know, you know. We're her net guy, um, but that's who that was. No, she wasn't in as good as it gets. That was uh, that was Jack Jack Nicholson, and uh, but it wasn't this one. She she starred with Jack Nicholson in another one, and I always get it confused with this title right here. I think we're on the same wavelength here. Reggie Nerman is thinking Annie Hall. Very well done, Annie Hall, nineteen seventy seven. 
she did start in Annie Hall. Um, let's see here. Donna McKinnon looking for Mr. Goodbar. Looking for Mr. Goodbar, 1977, same year as Annie Hall when that movie came out. Same with this one. First Wives Club, we've got it. The Big Wedding. The Big Wedding? Uh, no. I don't think she was in a movie called The Big Wedding. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see here. Blade, Godfather Part 2. Yeah, she was in Godfather uh, Part 2. That's right. Uh, that was in 74. So that was her what, second, third, fourth. Her, her sixth movie, <laughs> or fifth movie. First, second movie was the first Godfather. Her fifth movie was the second Godfather. Now she's internationally known, uh, and forever more of the roles would keep coming. Way to go. Nurse Nancy, something with a stone, romancing the stone. No, that's uh, that's not uh, with uh, – that's with Michael Douglas. And that's with uh, – that's with, um, uh, oh, the gal who was in uh, – Peggy Sue Got Married. Uh, that gal, uh, great actress. I, I forget her name at the moment because of how old I am. It's coming back to me. Brittany Lockwood, a Finding Nemo? No, she wasn't in Finding Nemo. Dixie, something's got to give. Yes, something's got to give. Uh, she was in that movie, and I, I think, uh, I believe that is the movie she starred with with Jack Nicholson, if I'm not mistaken. And for some reason, I, I always get that confused with the, the other movie. Desi, because I said so, uh, because I said so, that is uh, say, the name of a movie. Uh, she's not saying because I said so. That's the name of a movie called Because I Said So. That was shot in 2007. Very well done. Reggie and her man, Parenthood. Was she in Parenthood? I think so. Let me see here. Uh, let me look. Um, where is it? Was that, was she in Parenthood? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, 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 looking. Where is it? I thought she, I thought she was in Parenthood. Am I missing this one? Oh my goodness. I could be wrong here. Hang on. Ah, uh, looking, looking. No, she wasn't in Parenthood. Ah, <gasps> she wasn't in Parenthood. Oh my, uh, really? Oh, Oh, well, there you go. She wasn't in Parenthood. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Father of the Bride. Yeah, she was in the remake, Father of the Bride, 1991, with Steve Martin. Uh, something's got to give. We've got it. Finding Dory. Brittany. Uh, no, she wasn't in that one, Brittany. Uh, Debbie Manuel. Something's got to give. We have it. Donna, Rock and Roll Mom. No, she wasn't in Rock and Roll Mom. Debbie Manuel, Book Club. I don't think so. Uh, let me let me look. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. No, she wasn't in that one either. Uh, Life with father, Reggie and her man. Life with father. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, I don't find it. I haven't got it here. Uh, really? Uh, that, that, there was something about. That title is ringing bells with me, but I'm not finding it. Not finding it on the list here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what's the next one being guessed here? Sorry. Uh, Mad Money. Mad Money doesn't sound like a Diane Keaton movie to me either. Mad Money. Uh, no, not. Yes, I'm sorry. You are correct. I apologize. It's the second last one on the list. 2008. I uh, haven't seen it, obviously. Uh, Baby Boom, uh, yes, Blaine, Baby Boom, eight, 1987. She was in that one, As Good As It Gets, with Helen Hunt. Thank you. Thank you. Not Linda, Helen Hunt. Thank you so much. With uh, Robert, you got it. And that was with uh, uh, Jack Nicholson. And uh, wasn't that also with uh, Greg Kinnear? He should have won an Oscar for that role. He didn't. Uh, Greg Kinnear was in that. I think uh, Robin Williams won the Oscar that year instead. Uh, Debbie Manuel, Annie Hall. Yes. Annie Hall, she was in the movie Annie Hall, 1977. We have it already. Uh, Reggie and her man, Father of the Bride 2. Yes, she was in Father of the Bride 2. Uh, here it is, 1995. Uh, four years later, she did that movie. Uh, Blaine Hampstead, I don't think so. I uh, don't think so. Hampstead, no, I don't think so. Um, Annie Hall, we have Debbie. Look, a book club was good. Uh, uh, D. Walker, because I said so. Tom Henry, Baby Boom, we have it. And Jordan, her new movie at the moment is called The Book Club. Oh, that's why. 2018, I don't have it. I only have it until 2008. I apologize, people. Thank you for all of that. Uh, D. Walker, uh, Dixie, me, me, me too, did a, did a correction. Yeah. Uh, Brittany, Father of the Bride, got it. Larry Blake, a Big Wedding. Big Wedding? No, uh, I don't have uh, I don't have anything called Big Wedding in her uh, itinerary. 
Uh, Demi Manuel, Jesse, I really liked it as well. Crazy rich guys, uh, we don't know who she is without uh, without looking. We don't know who this is, guys. Uh, don't you know your movies? Uh, my goodness, uh, uh, Blaine, Radio Days, yeah, 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 Radio Days. Now that is a classic. Uh, you, you, you rich guys, crazy rich guys, you look up Diane Keaton and uh, you watch the movie Radio Days. You want to learn something about America and the world at large. Watch that movie. It's funny, but it's also quite uh, revealing uh, what the world was like at one time. Unbelievable. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Desi Wagner, ordinary people? I don't think she was an ordinary people. I uh, don't think so. I I, I don't think so. Uh, town and country, Blaine. Uh, town and country. Uh, town and country. Town and country. Yeah, 2001. Thank you. There it is. Uh, stripes. No, she wasn't in stripes, Jim. No, she wasn't in stripes. Um, Blaine running mates, running mates. Uh, looking for something called running mates. Nope. Haven't got it. Don't see it here because I said, so, uh, we have it. Awesome. Desi haven't seen it yet. Wendy Thompson wears hats, eyeglasses, dresses like a man. Uh, okay. Uh, Desi Wagner, um, at crazy rich guys, you are surrounded by old people. <laughs> Tom Henry, uh, Manhattan. Yeah, the movie Manhattan. That's another one you crazy rich guys have to watch that movie. You got to watch Manhattan. You got to watch Hanny Hall. You got These are classics. You have to watch this uh, to be to, to understand the world in which you live. If you want to know Hollywood, you got to watch these movies. Uh, Officer and a Gentleman. Sorry, Jim, not in that one. Blaine, Five Flights Up. I don't know. Was she in something called Five Flights Up? up um i don't i don't don't have it i don't have it kathleen turner was in romancing the stone and peggy sue got married a great actress lover crazy rich guys we were born in old one that's why you got to watch these old movies you got to watch these old movies to kind of figure out what happened before you showed up because a lot of what happened then is still relevant today in its own way you gotta catch up guys catch up nurse nancy godfather six no uh larry Blake. uh reds yes she was in the movie reds 1981 uh, cool Jazz, the big, the big wedding, 2013. Um, if it was, I apologize. I'm only going up to 2010. So, Cool Jazz, I'm giving it to you. Blaine, Crimes of the Heart, Crimes of the Heart in 1986. She did that movie. Cool Jazz, First Wives Club, we got it. Larry Blake, Radio Days, great movie. Sleeper, Brittany Lockwood, yes, Sleeper, you got one, Brittany. 1973, Nurse Nancy. Crazy rich guys, most of my undergarments are older than you are. Laughing out loud. <laughs> Don't gross these guys out. They're, they're just kids. Blaine, uh, Mrs. Sofell. Uh, yes, Mrs. Sofell, I believe in 1984 she did that movie. Thank you. Desi Wagner, Bruce, we are in 2018. These titles only go to 2010, and I apologize. I hadn't even realized it. Uh, I was just working so hard to get this one in, and I, I just, what can I say? Uh, cool jazz. Manhattan, we've got it. Uh, Blaine, the Lemon Sisters. Yes, the Lemon Sisters, 1989. Uh, Robert Brandt, as good as it gets, got Oscars for Nicholson and Hunt. That's right, for both of them, but not for uh, Greg Kinnear. He did a fantastic job in that movie. He was a great supporting actor. Um, Smother, Larry Blake, Smother. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Smother, as uh, uh, is that after 2010? Because I oh wait oh, yeah wait yes sorry you're right 2008 here it is uh, well done Larry I apologize well done Larry uh, Reggie and her man sleeper uh, sleeper sleeper got it uh, the family stone great movie Blaine you nailed a good one there 2005 awesome movie loved it uh, you you young guys you got to watch that one too Brittany Lockwood she was in Finding Dory. She was in Finding Well. If she was, it was after 2010, and I'll give it to you. Cool Jazz, Sleeper, we got it. Uh, cool Jazz, Shoot the Moon. Shoot the Moon, uh, 1982. She was in that movie. Um, Love and Death, Reggie and her man. Love and Death, 1975, right after The Godfather. How about that? Going back a bit. The Good Mother, Cool Jazz, The Good Mother, 1988. There it is. Thank you. Baby Boom, we have Hampstead in 2017. That's why I don't have it. I apologize, Sharon. Let's see. Sharon, thank you for uh, Hampstead 2017. I've only got up to 2010. I, I got this trivia question all screwed up. Ah, what can I say? Diane Keaton movies up to 2010. How about that? Uh, 
Desi Wagner. Tootsie? No, she wasn't in Tootsie. Um, Gary, uh, Terry, uh, what was her name? Uh, Gary, uh, Terry, 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 Gary. Oh, I can't remember her name. The actress who played in Tootsie. You remember that gal? She was with Bill, Mur Bill Murray's girlfriend in that movie. What was it? Terry Gar. She was, Terry Gar was in that movie. Not Diane Keaton. Uh, crazy, r crazy rich guys. Are those Woody Allen? Yes, yeah, some of these are Woody Allen movies and are incredible. Cool Jazz, Mama's Boy. Yes. Mama's Boy, 2007. Well done. Annie Hall, we have Larry Blake, the good mother. We got it. Uh, Jim Thomas, sorry, was thinking of the wrong actress. It's all good. I, I get this wrong all the time. Cool Jazz, five flights up. She starred with Morgan Freeman. What year was that? Was that after 2010? Because I haven't got it. I apologize. If it was after 2010, it's my fault. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Mom? Uh, no, that's Terry Gar. She was definitely Mr. Mom in that movie. Uh, Blaine, The Family Stone. We got it. Sharon at Sea, Five Flights Up. That's after 2010, obviously. Brittany Lockwood, Love and Death. We got it. Uh, we've already done it. Uh, love and Death. Uh, we've already done it. What else we got going here? Um, play it again, Sam. Blaine, 2007, is saying play it again, Sam. 1972, our third movie, right after The Godfather. Tom Henry, Marvin's Room. Marvin's Room. I'm looking for a movie called Marvin's Room, 1996, right here, right after the first Wives Club. Played again. Sam again came in. Hanging Up. Uh, yes, Hanging Up, 2000. She did that movie. Crazy Rich Guys, we've seen Marvin's Room. And you didn't guess it? Well, what, what do you guys do? There's two of you. You're against the world. Oh, my God. Cool Jazz. Uh, check Bruce's fuzzy brow, uh, brown water tainted with 1862. You got to test for that, I guess. Uh, crossed over, Blaine, 2007, crossed over, um, uh, crossed over. I'm looking for this title called crossed over, uh, not showing anything here. The other sister, Sharon at sea, the other sister, uh, Sharon, yes, Sharon, well done, 1999, thank you, well done. Um, Desi Wagner, Sharon, hanging up, yeah. Uh, Larry Blake, the other sister, Robert Brandt, Terry Gar, there you go. Blaine, Harry and Walter go to New York, yeah, that's correct. Harry and Walter go to New York in 1976. She did that movie. Well done. Uh, Tom Henry had cool jazz laughing out loud. Robert Brandt. Jessica Lang is in Tootsie also. That's right. Another great actress. She was the love interest. Exactly. Brittany Lockwood, play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sam. Um, I think we tried it already and um, we either got it or it was done after 2010. Um, Terminal Impact, Larry Blake. Terminal Impact, uh, 2005. Thank you. Uh, the Little Drummer Girl. Uh, Blaine is thinking The Little Drummer Girl. Uh, yep, 1984. Right there. Got it. Uh, cool Jazz Manhattan Murder. That is right. 1993 Manhattan Murder Mystery, actually. Sharon, see, came in late. Didn't realize you were doing before 2010. Sharon, it, it's my fault. I screwed up. Uh, uh, I, I'm supposed to have this trivia set up right up to the current day. I've only got answers up to 2010. Uh, you know, overworked, overstressed YouTuber. What can I say? Too many ships, too many cruise ships hitting too many piers in New York today. How about that? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Jim Thomas, uh, broke back, broke back Bakersfield filmed in Tokyo. <laughs> uh, an act of total desperation here, trying to cover all his bases. Uh, Jim, oh, way to go, buddy. Ah, uh, you're trying. You're trying, Jim. You're trying. Barb, what is the question again? Oh, it's it's a Diane Keaton movies before 2010. Diane Keaton movies. I'm going to start giving hints here in a minute. Uh, Dixie's laughing. Robert Brandt with scenes in the Vatican. There you go, Blaine. I will. I will for now. I will. I will. Uh, yes, I will. I will for now. 1976. That's the night of the movie. Jim Thomas is laughing. Blaine, The Family Stone. We've got it. All right. Um, and Ann Jordan, laugh out loud, Jim Thomas. MG Toe, the captain, probably drank too much. Sharon at Sea, the little drummer girl. We just had it. It just came in. Uh, let's see if I can get you. The, her first movie that she's ever done. Uh, Lovers and blank, blank. Any idea? 1970, Lovers and blank, blank. That's the first movie. Um, let's see here. Uh, 1981, The Wizard of blank. How about that one? Debbie Manuel, she has been in so many movies. You are correct, Debbie. Blaine Radio Day is correct. Cool Jazz. Interiors, very good. 1978, that's another one. Uh, how about another movie? Um, um, yes, uh, Look Who's Blank Blank. Anybody know that one? 
uh, Blaine Other, uh, Other, uh, David Guido Oz, uh, the Wizard of Oz from from Barb. No, Cool Jazz Lovers and Other Strangers, first movie she ever made. Lovers and Other Strangers, 1970. Reggie and Your Man, Lovers and Other Strangers. Cat Rose, Wizard of Wall Street. Wizard of Wall Street? Was she in a movie called Wizard of Wall Street? No, not not Wall Street. It's something else. It's Wizard of something else. Uh, <laughs> who's talking now? Uh, look who's talking now. 1993. Correct. Um, uh, the only blank from 1997. Uh, blank B from 2001. Um, Morning Blank is another movie. Uh, Wizard of Malta. Yes, Wizard of Malta, uh, 1981. Thank you, uh, Blaine. You got it. Um, look who's talking now. Wizard of Malta. That is correct. Um, we are almost done here. Uh, there's, um, I got The Godfather. I got The Godfather 2. There's one more. What is it? This is for the, for the, the young crazy guys. Uh, this is a gift for you guys. Give it to me. Come on. Godfather. Godfather 2. And there's one more. Uh, we're so lost. This is for you two guys, crazy rich guys. Uh, Godfather, Godfather 2, and Godfather, what's the next one? Uh, and you've got one right. Debbie, I'm not taking an answer. Can you do it? Godfather 3, the crazy rich guys got it. Sorry, Debbie, they beat you out. <laughs> the Godfather 3. See how easy Hollywood is, you guys? It's so simple. Um, the only thrill from Cool Jazz, the only thrill is the uh, guess. That is correct. 1997. Thank you. Cool Jazz 6. Uh, Blaine uh, Part 3. Debbie Manuel. Wait, Godfather 3. <laughs> uh, crazy Rich Guys, he got an answer correct. Way to go. Uh, it's still not over. We still have another get another quiz to go. I got two more for you. Hang in there. Uh, let's see. Wait, Godfather. Blaine. Whoops. Sorry. Laugh out loud. Okay. Uh, what am I looking for here? The uh, Movies from uh, Diane Keaton. What's left? Are there any left or have you got them all? Uh, we're just about here. There's only one left. Blank Glory. What's the name of that movie? It's the name of the uh, favorite beverage at Stampede in Calgary during Stampede Week when we all dress up like cowboys and go crazy for a week. It's called Blank Glory. It's made with orange juice and vodka. What is the name of that movie? Uh, we're waiting. We're waiting. A good job, uh, uh, crazy cr cruising uh, rich guys. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. You're so kind. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, and then there's a there's a blank B um, in two thousand and one. There's the other one. Morning Glory. Thank you, Brittany. Morning Glory, Brittany. How do you know that? Aren't you a little young to know that kind of stuff? You must have heard it from relatives. I get. Ah, oh, David Guido Blood. No, uh, Plan B. The name of the movie in two thousand and one was Plan B. That was the last movie. Here is the final list. We call them screwdrivers. That's right, Debbie. Here's the final list that I have for Diane Keaton movies. It starts with Lovers and Other Strangers. Then The Godfather, play it again, Sam. Sleeper, Godfather 2, Love and Death, I Will, I Will for Now. Harry and Walter go to New York, Any Hall, Looking for Mr. Goodbar, Interiors, Manhattan, The Wizard of Malta, Reds, Shoot the Moon, The Little Drummer Girl, Mrs. Sofell, Sofell. Uh, Crimes of the Heart, Radio Days, you young guys have got to see that one, uh, you two young guys. Uh, radio days. Baby Boom, The Good Mother, uh, The Lemon Sisters, The Godfather 3, Father of the Bride, Manhattan Murder Mystery, Look Who's Talking Now, Father of the Bride 2, The First Wives Club, Marvin's Room, The, on the Only Thrill, The Other Sister, Hanging Up, Town and Country, Plan B, Something's Gotta Give, Terminal Impact, The Family Stone, Because I Said So, Mama's Boy, Smother, Mad Money, Morning Glory, Those. that's where I stopped, and I apologize for missing any others after that. Okay. Now I'm going to put you guys to the test. We're talking flowers. We're talking flowers here. And uh, let's see how we do with this one. Okay, Mel, I got 24 countries that I'm looking for here. I want you to tell me the largest, the 24 largest exporters of cut flowers. What countries do cut flowers come from and get exported around the world flowers let's see what we can do cut flower exporting countries the top 24 and we'll see what the guesses are we should start seeing them coming in here in a second here we go 
Gaylene Davidson, Holland. Holland, the Netherlands. I'm going to give you the Netherlands, and you are correct. Same with Barb. Same with Reggie and her man. Blaine got the Netherlands. Um, $3.1 billion of exports of cut flowers per year. They fly them out. They truck them out. They rail them out. Uh, they get them out. Yep, $3.1 billion. The Netherlands. Holland. Absolutely correct. Cat Rose and Paul Wilgus. Mexico. Mexico is um, number 20 on the list. $32 million versus $3.1 billion. $32 million. Almost a non-factor. But Mexico is number 20 out of 24. They're in there. Um, David had Canada. David Guido had Canada. And believe it or not, Canada is 13th on the list at $74 million. We are flower, cut flower exporters. Canada. Uh, Reggie Man had Holland. Brittany Lockwood, the United States. The USA is seventh largest, $138 million. Uh, seventh largest. Um, Blaine had the Netherlands. Debbie, Peru. She's going for Peru for cut flower exports. Nope, didn't make the list. Sorry. Tom Henry, Netherlands. Uh, Sylvia Swan. How about Germany? Is Germany on the list for cut flower? Yes, 12th in the world, $80 million a year. Germany. Paul had Netherlands. Brittany Lockwood, Spain. Spain, 11th largest, $88 million. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, how about Brazil? Coming right in with another guess. Brazil. Uh, Brasilia. Um, uh, you know what? Not on the list. Brazil is not known as a flower, cut flower exporting country. Sylvia Swan, France. France, uh, number 15 on the list, $38 million. They don't export much, but they use a lot for perfume making, don't they? Um, how about that? Uh, where's next? Ecuador. Blaine is thinking about Ecuador. Number three in the world, $342 million. Tom Henry, USA, we've got it. Larry Blake, Kenya, number four in the world, $235 million. Kenya for flowers. Brittany had Canada. Blaine had Colombia. Colombia, number two in the world, $704 million, one, not even a quarter of uh, Netherlands. And that's number two. Netherlands, $3.1 billion. Colombia, $700 million. Ecuador is $342. Kenya is $235. Those are your top four countries. Well, guessed. Spain, we've got China. Blaine. Blaine is thinking about China uh, for flour exports. 21st in the world, 32 million. I think that number will go up going forward. Brittany Lockwood, the United Kingdom, the UK for flour exports, 16th in the world, 38 million. Uh, Mexico, we have Costa Rica from Barb. Barb is thinking Costa Rica, 10th largest exporter of flowers, $92 million a year. Well done. Blaine, Kenya, we got it. Uh, Reggie, Mexico, we have a Tom, Portugal. Portugal is not on the top 24 list at all. Uh, France, we have Malaysia. Blaine is thinking about Malaysia. Yep, 18th in the world, $35 million of flower exports. Tom Henry, Costa Rica, we've got it. Brazil, we've done it. Um, Tom Henry, Indonesia. Indonesia, not on the list, not in the top 20. UK, we got Belgium, we've got, right? No, we don't have Belgium. Here it is, number eight, excuse me, 106 million. Belgium is number eight. Um, I was thinking about somebody else. Very good. Uh, Belgium done. Argentina. Brittany is thinking Argentina. Let's see. Is Argentina on the list as a flower exporter? No, not Argentina. And Jordan is thinking about Singapore. Singapore uh, is not on the... Wait, wait. Yes, Singapore. 24th. They're the last country on the list. That's why I couldn't see it right away. 25 million in exports. They just made the top 24. How about that? Well done. France, we have Italy. Regina Man, we are looking for Italy. Number five country, $196 million. Right behind Kenya. Fantastic. Well done. Israel, Blaine. Well done. Israel is number six on the list. $168 million in exports. Well done. Gaylene is looking at Colombia. Uh, we already have it. Number two country in the world. Uh, Thailand. Blaine coming in with Thailand as a guest. Um, looking here, um, Thailand, did we not do Thailand? No, we didn't. And it isn't on the list either. Sorry. 
Thailand is not there. New Zealand, Tom Henry. Yep, number 23, second from the bottom, 26 million in exports, New Zealand. Brittany, Portugal, uh, we've got it already. Austria, Tom Henry is thinking Austria, not on the list. Uh, who else we're looking at here? Uh, Austria, Austria, Australia is being guessed now. Australia, nope, Australia not on the list. <clears throat> uh, let's go through some more here. Late to the party, Bruce Rob Souter. Hey, Rob, we're looking for countries that export cut flowers. Lithuania from Blaine, uh, no, Lithuania not on the list. Um, Colombia, the poppies, not on the list, uh, not in the top 24 anyway. Sylvia, a crazy rich guys, guess any countries. Look at the globe. Uh, Blaine, India. Blaine, um, wondering about India. We've already done India, have we not? Or are we to do India? And we haven't done it. India, number 14. $41 million in exports of cut flowers. India, they are 14th on the list. We are quickly running out of uh, um, uh, needs. We're getting there. Switzerland is another guest that just came in. Switzerland is not on this list. Um, Vietnam is not on the list. No, 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 not Vietnam. Uh, Thailand, no. Uh, Japan, uh, no. N no, Japan is not on the list either. Debbie Manuel, E-A-N. Uh, Tom Henry, Afghanistan, uh, no. Afghanistan is not able to grow flowers and export them around the world for money. They're a little busy right now trying to survive bombs and bullets. Jim Thomas, Germany, they have a lot to be sorry for, so they're making it up for in flowers. I don't know. It's just a guess. <laughs> well, Germany came in 12th on this list. Uh, they are very entrepreneurial in Germany, and they have greenhouses. They export a lot of flowers. Sylvia, oops, these kids probably don't own a globe. <laughs> Richie's uh, uh, tad card. Uh, uh, get my boy hand before. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, uh, Richie, I'm not sure if Richie's a real deal or not. We'll have to keep an eye on Richie. Brittany Lockwood, Denmark. Denmark, yeah, number nine country, $103 million in exports. Well done. Dixie, the Ukraine, nope, not there. Uh, Brittany, South Korea, yes, 17th largest flower exporter, $36 million. Debbie Manuel, oh no, JT, uh, you went there. Brittany Lockwood, Cambodia, uh, nope. As a matter of fact, I have two countries left. And uh, let's see here, Cambodia, Lebanon. Not on the list either. I'm looking for a country in Africa, and I'm looking for a country in Asia uh, that borders Europe. And that's what I need. Reggie and her man, Sweden, no. Lebanon, no. Um, and that will do our list. One country in Africa, one country bordering Europe and Asia. And see if we get anywhere. Sweden was a guess. Uh, not good enough. South Africa, yes. South Africa is correct. Number 19. Um, Nigeria, Barb, no. Uh, looking for a country that's run by a dictator now. And um, 80 million people live there. Turkey, thank you, Brittany. Well done. That is the list. We are done with the flowers. Uh, the number one country, Netherlands. Colombia, number two. Ecuador, number three. Kenya, Italy, Israel, the USA, Belgium, Denmark, Costa Rica, Spain. Germany is number 12. Canada, India, France, the UK is 16. South Korea, Malaysia, South Africa. Mexico, China, Turkey, New Zealand, and Singapore. Those are the top 25 cut flower exporters of the world. I have one trivia question left. This one's a doozy. We'll see if you guys can be put to the test here. Um, I want you to try and tell me. These are city names in the United States. The top 100 cities. These, these, are, these are cities that are right now in the top 100 largest, highest population cities in America, but they were not in the top 100 in 1970. In 1970, they were not in the top 100. Today, they are in the top 100. So I want you to tell me, basically, the fastest growing cities in the United States since 1970 to today. Okay. Debbie's thinking, I just thought flowers were grown here. No, oh no. Big business around the world. <clears throat> Jim Thomas thinking Zimbabwe. Brittany in Lockwood uh, is thinking about New Orleans. No, I, I think, unfortunately, New Orleans has gone the other direction. Um, since Katrina, New Orleans has lost a lot of population and it's not one of the fastest growing. It's one of the fast, was one of the fast shrinking. Hopefully they're coming back now. But no, David Guido, uh, New York City. No, David, New York City was definitely a top 100 city in 1970. 
and it's still a top 100 city today. I'm looking for cities that were not a top 100 city in 1970 or before. They were lower than 100 in 1970, but now they are a top 100 city. Blaine is thinking Houston, Texas. Uh, Houston, Texas was a top 100 city in 1970 already. Seattle was also already a top 100. Uh, Barb, Atlanta was also a top 100. Um, we don't need to worry about uh, adding them in here. Blaine, Chicago uh, was probably the third largest city in 1970, still the lar third largest Regina Man, Chicago. Debbie Manuel, Dallas, uh, Dallas was a top 100 city. Donna, uh, LA was a top two. Barb, St. Louis as losing population is not going to make this cut. Regina Man, Detroit was probably fifth in 1970. Uh, Debbie Manuel, Seattle was probably in the top 50. Uh, Sylvia, Houston, definitely already a top 100. LA, David doesn't count. Portland, not going to help us, I don't think. Let me double check. Portland, I don't think so. Portland was a top 100 city already in 1970. I want to know what cities were not in the top 100 in 1970, but are now in the top 100 today. They've grown so much. They've passed all kinds of cities to move up into the top 100. Portland, Atlanta, no, no. San Antonio, no. Houston, no. Virginia Beach, Tom Henry, Virginia Beach, uh, no, it was also a top 100 already. Miami, not on the list, was already big enough. Brittany Lockwood, Minneapolis, already too big. My, Regina Man, Miami was up there. Austin, Texas from Blaine. Austin, Texas from Blaine. Uh, let me look here closely for Austin, Texas. No, Austin was already a top 100 city in 1970, although it is much bigger now. Um, but it already was a top 100. Dallas was already in there. Phoenix was in there. Atlanta was in there. No, Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia is uh, not on the list. Uh, it's a city that's losing ground, not gaining ground. Houston doesn't count. Miami, no. Uh, Charlotte. Uh, Sylvia is thinking about Charlotte. And Charlotte also was already a top 100 city in 1970. Philadelphia uh, was a big city. Utah, nice state. Las Vegas, here we go. Paul Wilson, the first correct answer. In 1970, Las Vegas was not a top 100 city in population. Today, Las Vegas is number 32. They are the number one fastest growing city by population by rank since 1970. They've moved all the way to 32nd place in the United States. In 1970, they weren't a top 100 city. Well done. Reggie has Dallas. Desi, Dixie, San Francisco. No can do. Raleigh. Uh, Sylvia is looking about Raleigh. Um, I believe that's North Carolina. Raleigh. Here we go. Raleigh is number 62 today. Was not in the top 100. Raleigh is growing. It's in the top 100. Blaine, Indianapolis. Uh, no, it was a 100, top 100 city. Uh, North Dakota. And that's a state. Uh, Debbie Manuel, Bakersfield. Yeah, Bakersfield is the 69th largest city in the United States of America right now. In 1970, it was not in the top 100. Well done, Debbie. I snuck a Bakersfield in on you guys, and Debbie got it. Well done, you guys. Well done. And Jordan, South Dakota doesn't count. Portland doesn't count. Uh, Debbie Manuel, Fresno. What about the city of Fresno in California? Fresno apparently was a top 100 city already in 1970. D. Walker, Miami, no, it was a top 100. Brittany, Bruce, I have to give a city in the state in which I live. You don't really, but I understand. I hear your, I hear your loyalty. Brittany, Dallas, no. Sylvia, St. Louis, no. Barb, Philly, no. And Jordan, Creston Field, British Columbia. How about that place? Awesome metro metropolis around here. Let me tell you, Brittany Lockwood, Orlando, Florida. Is Orlando, Florida going to make this list? No. Orlando was already a top 100 city in 1970, albeit probably just barely, but now way up the list. Denver, no. Houston, no. Phoenix, no. Bakersfield, we got it. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin, I think we're talking about. Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, no. No, Madison is not on this list either. Bakersfield, we have it. Brittany, Las Vegas, we got it. Fresno didn't make it. LA, Vegas, we have it. Frisco doesn't count. Denver doesn't count. Odessa, Texas. Odessa, Texas. No, Odessa is not on this list at all. Phoenix doesn't count. Charlotte doesn't work. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, I believe, had been already 
a top 100 city. So no go on Louisville. Nashville is another one. I believe Nashville already was a top 100 city. That's right. And uh, Memphis uh, was, I believe, a top 100 city already. Yes, it was. Uh, so those don't go either. Chico, no, no can do. Chico, Virginia Beach, no. Charlotte, no. Sacramento. Sacramento, California was already a top 100 city. Uh, Tampa is already in there. Palm Springs, never, not, not a top 100 today. Reno, Nevada. Cat Rose. Wondering about Reno in Nevada. Uh, no, uh, not on this list either. Albany, New York. Good guess. Albany, um, a good guess, but no. Albany is not on the in the top 100. Probably not in the top 100 today. Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Um, I believe Columbus, Ohio is also already a top 100 city. So it, it's not going to work. Brittany is thinking about Sioux Falls. Uh, Sioux Falls? No. <clears throat> no. Fargo, North Dakota? No. Salt Lake City? No. Boise in Idaho? No. Boise was a 100, top 100 in 1970. Tucson, Arizona from Blaine, 2007. Wondering about Tucson, Arizona? Um, no. Already a top 100 city. Washington, D.C., no. Uh, Columbia, no. Uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. Charlottesville, Virginia, <clears throat> no. No, not on that one. Uh, Salt Lake, no. Savannah, Georgia. Reggie and her man. Savannah, Savannah. Nope, not on the list. Uh, Zanesville, Ohio. No, uh, no. I know. One of these days I will get Zanesville in a quiz. Greensboro, North Carolina. Nope, not Greensville. Uh, Denver, no. Uh, yay, Debbie Bakersfield. Uh, Jim Thomas, Tulsa. David, Boston, no. Uh, Blaine, Irvine. Irvine, Texas. I'm guessing you're guessing. Yes, Irvine, Texas. Irving, number 100. It just made the top 100 in the last census. It's in there. Lubbock. Blaine is wondering about Lubbock, Lubbock Texas. It was already a top 100. Lincoln, Nebraska. Blaine, thinking about Lincoln, Nebraska. These are the kinds of cities I'm looking for, but that's not on the list. Oakland didn't cut it. Albuquerque, nope. Louisville, Kentucky, no. Regina Man, Kissimmee, no. San Jose, no. Regina Man, Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska was already a top 100 in 1970. St. Cloud, no. Green Bay, Wisconsin, no. Wichita, Kansas. I think Wichita was already in the top 100. Doesn't cut it. Uh, Daytona. Brittany Lockwood is thinking about Daytona. Um, taking a look here. No, not Daytona. Tampa, no. Sioux, uh, North Dakota, no. Colorado Springs, yes. Colorado Springs was uh, not in the top 100 in 1970. Now number 48, growing very fast. Colorado Springs, 48th largest city. Brittany Lockwood, Oshkosh, no. Reggie and your man. Newark, New Jersey. It was a top 100 already. Paul Wilson, San Diego. No, Omaha, Nebraska, already top 100. Danbury, Connecticut. Reggie and her man. Danbury, Connecticut. Not growing very fast. Not making it. El Paso, already there. Anchorage, already there. Fort Myers. Fort Myers. No, not Fort Myers. Uh, Fairbanks, Alaska. Fairbanks. Fairbanks, Alaska. No. Um, I will give you hints if you need them. Don't worry. Riverside, California, already top 100. Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia, I think was already a top 100 city. Correct. Uh, Boise, top 100 already. Concord. Uh, and Concord, North Carolina is what you're talking about? Concord. Uh, Concord. 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 No. I have to go back for one second. I need something to check something. Check something. Barb. Barb, you guessed Anchorage, Alaska. I said, no, you are correct. I missed it. Anchorage is the 65th largest city in the United States right now. It was not in the top 100 in 1970. Well done. Thank you for your patience, and I'm sorry I missed it. Uh, Juneau, Alaska. And uh, uh, Juneau, Alaska? Juneau? J no. But Mesa, Arizona. Blaine, you got one. It's the 42nd largest city in America now. Mesa was not in the top 100 in 1970. Mesa, Arizona. Rock Hill, South Carolina from Barb. Rock Hill. 
I'm checking very closely, Barb. I don't want to blow another one for you. Rock Hill. I don't find it, though. I can't find Rock Hill. Sorry. Uh, it's not in there. El Paso doesn't count. Uh, Yousef is here. Hi, Yousef. Corpus Christi is another guest. Uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. No, it's not in this list. Uh, Anchorage, we just did. Brittany Lockwood, St. Petersburg. No. Reggie and her man, Honolulu. No. Yousef, hi. Uh, Jim Thomas, Stockton. Stockton. Stockton, yes. Stockton is 70th largest now. Was not in the top 100 in 1970. Well done, Jim Thomas. Blaine, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I believe Fort Wayne is in Indiana. But it's not in this list. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let's see her. Um, not sure what's up with, with Yousef. Uh, Larry Blake, Jacksonville, Florida. No. Tom Henry, Manhattan, Kansas. No. Toledo, Blaine. Uh, Toledo was already, already a top 100. Fort Collins, uh, no, sorry, Brittany. West Adams, Colorado from Blaine. West Adams, uh, no, sorry, no can do. Uh, Topeka, Kansas, no. Aurora, Colorado, uh, no. Honolulu, no. Uh, just double checking Aurora, though. I, something tells me. Sorry, Aurora is correct. I'm sorry, Aurora. I'm passed right over it. I apologize. Blaine, you got it. Aurora, 61st on the list now. Uh, 64th largest city in the United States. Aurora, well done. Uh, Honolulu, no. Pensacola, Florida, no. Blaine, Oklahoma City, no. Austin, no. Bronx, no. Reggie Man, Akron, no. Cat Rose, Colorado Springs, no. Paul Wilson, Lafayette, Indiana. Lafayette, Indiana, no. Uh, we've caught up, so I have to start giving you hints now. Um, you know Dallas. You all love Dallas? Give me a city right beside Dallas. Give me one of the cities beside Dallas. Uh, Kentucky, not Louisville. What's the other big city in Kentucky? Tell me, not Louisville. Um, Florida, they love playing this game in Florida that uh, is played with a ball and a big hook, and the ball travels at over 100 and something miles an hour. It's unbelievable. Uh, that city, what's the name of that city where they play that game? The city is named after that game. Um, uh, here we go Fort Worth, Lexington, Fort Worth. I need another city, not Fort Worth. Not Lexington. Yes, it's Lexington. Thank you. Lexington, 64th largest in the United States. Lexington, Kentucky. It fell out of the top 100, came back. It's now 64. Uh, Texas, it's not Fort Worth. It's the other city beside Dallas. Here we got it. Arlington, Reggie Interman, Arlington, Texas. Uh, Arlington, Texas, the 53rd largest city in America. It was not in the top 100 in 1970. Well done. Uh, West Palm, not West Palm. Uh, not for like not looking for lacrosse. No, no, not looking for lacrosse. <laughs> I need a city in Texas. Um, a couple of them. Um, I need a city named after the main street in downtown Las Vegas. What's the main drag downtown Las Vegas called? Uh, that's the name of a city. I need a suburb of Phoenix. I need another one. Um, I need a city in Alabama. I need a city in Georgia. Uh, and I need a city in California. Here we go. Um, uh, Hylia, Reggie and her man, I'm giving you that one because I love the way you spelled it. Hylia is the 75th largest city in the United States from Florida. It was not in the top 100, 1970. Well done. Henderson, Nevada. No, Plano, Texas. Yes, 78th largest now. Plano, Texas. Well done, Blaine. The Strip. That's not the name of the street I'm looking for. Cat, Mobile, Alabama. No, Birmingham, Alabama. No, what's the other one? Reggie, your man. The Strip. No, Montgomery, Alabama. Yes, Montgomery is 87th largest city in the United States right now. It's moving up the list. Brittany, The Strip. I'm looking for the name of the street. A street name, not a nickname. What's the downtown street in Las Vegas? They get the lights over top that run for a couple hundred yards all the way down. The Golden Nugget is down there. What is the name of that street? And then you'll know the name of the city I'm thinking about. Mesa, Arizona from Paul Wilson. Mesa, it's not Mesa. We already have Mesa. I'm looking for another suburb of Phoenix that's not Mesa. It's not Pasadena. I'm not looking for Pasadena. I'm not looking for Virginia City. Chandler, Arizona, no. Anaheim, California, no. I'm looking for a, a city in Arizona, by the way, Suburb of Phoenix, another one where they have the football stadium and the hockey rink. What's the name of that city in Arizona, suburb of Greater Phoenix? Anybody know? Uh, the Strip, Rodeo Drive, that's downtown LA. Fremont, Debbie Emanuel, you're gorgeous. Fremont is the name of the city, 85th largest in the United States. 
That's the name of the street in downtown Vegas, the main drag. Uh, cool Jazz, Reno. No, not Reno. I'm looking for a, a high, very high-end neighborhood in Phoenix, a suburb. Very high-end. The big bucks hang out here. What's the name of that neighborhood? I'm um, looking for another neighborhood in Phoenix where they've got the football stadium and the hockey rink for the Phoenix Coyotes. What town is that in? What's the district called? We have Visalia coming in. I don't, I don't need Visalia. I'm looking for, in Georgia, a very affluent area, a famous place where kind of nearby where they play a big old golf tournament every April. Um, the big golf tournament in Georgia uh, every April, the big golf tournament at the same golf course that used to be men only and now they allow women. What's the name of that town in Georgia? Where are we talking about? Um, and uh, uh, let's see here. I'm looking for a city in Texas that would be named after a flower you pin on a woman when you take her out to the prom. What would you what, what would you put right here on a gal's dress? The guys have to bring one with them on prom night. What's that called? Augusta, Georgia is uh, being guessed right now. It's it's Augusta, uh, correct? That is correct. That is the correct answer. I'm looking for 89th largest. Savannah just came in. I'm looking for that's the that's the Georgia one. That's all I need. Well, D D Dixie's laughing. Glendale, Arizona, Blaine. Thank you for taking me out of my misery. Um, it's actually. Uh, Glendale, Arizona, 80th largest city. Glendale, California is the 98th largest city. Both of them are moving up the list. Got two in one. Thank you very much. Uh, Camila Corsage, Buttoneer. Um, yeah, there's another name I'm thinking of, and maybe I'm being Canadian here. I could be way off on this, but uh, there's a name I'm thinking about. Starts with a G that you uh, put something here, but Corsage is pr the proper name. That, that is the proper name. I have to give you that. What's the high-end neighborhood? I hear it is Brittany's got it. Scottsdale, Arizona. Thank you so much, Brittany. Scottsdale, 86th largest city in the United States. There's only two left. I need one that's named after a bay in the East Coast, in the Northeast. It's named after bay. It's something bay. What's the name of that city up there? Anybody have a clue? Uh, Gardenia. Oh, so close. Uh, I'm looking for Garland. Is that is that uh, a Christmas decoration or something like? What's a garland? Anybody help me with that one? Uh, for some reason, I thought a garland had something to do with you pin it on a girl. I could be wrong. Maybe that's why I got the wrong girl since when I was younger. <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, there's one city left. It's Blank Bay, named after a bay, but the the city is just named after the name of the bay. It's not Blank Bay. It's just Blank. But what am I talking about? Um, I'm not even sure what state this is in. Is this Massachusetts? I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a very high-end part of town, very expensive. Uh, Garland is Christmas. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's, uh, Garland is Christmas. That's true. Uh, Chesapeake Bay. Thank you, Blaine. You took me out of my misery. Chesapeake is the 91st largest city in the United States. We've just finished our trivia for the night. The top 100 cities today, the cities in the top 100 today that were not in the top 100 in 1970. And here they are, Las Vegas. 32nd now. Mesa, Arizona, 42. Colorado Springs, 48. Arlington, Texas, 53. Aurora, Illinois, 61. Raleigh, Lexington, Anchorage, Bakersfield, Stockton, Hylia, Plano, Glendale, Arizona, Garland, Fremont, Scottsdale, Montgomery, Augusta, Chesapeake, Glendale, California, and Irving, Irving, Texas. Those are cities that are now in the top 100 that were not in the top 100 in 1970 shifting populations from one part of the country to another north to south east to west that type of thing quite amazing uh garland is like a string of leaves or flowers thank you debbie i'm i'm lost with this stuff uh tom henry uh v abers paul oh, we'll guess uh, a garland is a is a long string of flowers or greens blaine i think the twins gave up laugh out loud barb good trivia thanks bruce cool jazz can't play discretionary uh, can't play dictionary with bruce <laughs> oh, easy <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy on Bruce. He doesn't know what he's doing. Ah, uh, what can I tell you? How many thumbs ups? 26 thumbs ups. That's excellent. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for spreading the love on the thumbs ups. I really appreciate it. What time is it in St. Thomas? Uh, Got to be 9.33, I think. Uh, something like that. Debbie Manuel, another great night of trivia, Bruce. Barb, thumbs ups. 
Tom Henry, bedtime. I agree, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm on at 5 o'clock at regular time. We'll see what's going on in the cruise world. Uh, any more accidents? Ships running into ports? What's going on? We'll stay on top of it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep on top of all my uh, alerts. Hit that bell notification icon. It's right there. I'll keep you on top of things. What's going on? Uh, Blaine, yes, 936. That's what it is, 936. I will see you tomorrow at uh, at uh, 5 in the, evening, in the evening, New York time. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. It is uh, August the 28th, 2018. Trivia is done for a Tuesday night. On for one show tomorrow. Uh, have a pleasant evening, you all. And thank you again. 26 thumbs ups. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. And thank you for all your support. We'll see you guys. Bye for now.